Most high. Yeah, it just started just now. And I can't have that. We're going to have to go to another one. I'm sorry, but uh, we may have to go to another tune. Sorry for the silence and dead air radio. I just started. Can you turn that? that there, I hear myself back there. I'm trying. Look, you know. It's been such horror, the interruptions and all the, the just crazy stuff that's happening, you know, that I can't, it, I just, I'd never seen it before. 
And so it's about time to, you know, at this point, we're just going to have to get super angry. And, uh, Unfortunately, you know, the, um, you know, the, 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 the uh, CCP lockdowns, um, I don't like being in an occupied country to you. I mean, I, we've experienced it now that the Chinese invaded with COVID and then they had their operatives, the, you know, the, uh, the governors and others paid off, uh, to, to lock it down. They have the FBI, um, And they just, I mean, I, I cannot believe that people don't even know what's going on. We've been 100% accurate from the very beginning, tracked the whole thing over the last nine months or whatever. We've tracked the whole thing. Never had to make any retraction of all those podcasts. Have tracked little by little and even including the military spreading of it. The U.S. military spreading of it on behalf of the Chinese, their masters. Uh, it, it's funny to me when I see people going on the air, time out like, we got to get tough with China, the Republicans say. And they just haven't gotten a paycheck yet. <laughs> Everybody else has. Anyway, today, targeted individual day, I'm just proclaiming that because, you know, the, the bad stuff is back. <laughs> yeah, the bad stuff is back. You know what I mean by bad stuff? Well, we're going to go through it. If I can keep my calm long enough to do a kind of a testimony here, I can explain it to you. For those that think they've tried to figure it out as a secular problem, it just involves hardware and electromagnetism. No. Because they're tracking you specifically. Where did they get that? Well, you see, if we can't get past two sentences, then we're just not going to, the problem, the, the, the reason that I haven't been able to, you know, pub, go have the public discourse is because there are so many people that appeared online as targeted individuals who have all these ideas about it and made some kind of orthodoxy about it. That if you didn't fall into this group or that group, then you're a shill or maybe you're even a stalker or something. You're you're a perpetrator, you know, as they say. And um, so I just said, you know, I don't need this. These people are ignorant. You know, oh, and it's all electromagnetism. It's all that they do this. They have these, you know, face masks where they where they basically take over the your innards and they become you. And that becoming you thing has been. Uh, practiced uh, through that's actually a form of witchcraft and I, I could explain it I guess um, where they literally infiltrate or they traumatize you to break you to infiltrate part of the gang stalking thing has to do with mind control and you know the people say well it's electromagnetism weapons yeah, it's electromagnetism not necessarily coming from hardware meaning something you can identify, you go, hey, there's an electromagnetic machine. That must be coming after me. There's a little handheld device. That must be coming after me. You know, something you can understand, right? And, you know, and there are all these people. I mean, I got friends, and they, they write they my email, and they, they think they know it all. And I, so I just, there was no room for me. There's no room for any kind of discussion, anything. It's just, it's a, it's a topic that's shut down. You could say it's infiltrated by people. They just don't want the truth. Okay. They just don't want it. And so we, we, we have all these factions going spinning around and you got the Brian twos out there and he's like the, you know, he's trying to prop himself up as the Pope of, um, you know, uh, magnetic electronic uh, stalking and, on and on and on and on and on with uh, all these stupid theories. And I've just had it. I've had enough. I, I just can't, you know, what happens? What about the average person that's get, having a lot of trouble? That, and then all these theories are trying to explain, you know, this and that to them. when it, They're just trying to be able to get through the night. 
They're just trying to turn it off. What are you leading to? Why are you attacking Brian? Too? I'm not attacking Brian too. I, you know, I'm just, he's in a, another category of people that have an orthodoxy and that he would write me all the time to tell me, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. Steph. Here's the real th story here. I was saying, well, you know, my, and, and then explaining his little episodes of people stalking him in the park and whatnot. And I, um, I'm sorry. I, you know, I, what are I, 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 I don't have the, you know, I don't want to tell him that, you know, this or that. I don't want to discourage anyone. I don't want to discourage him. But I mean, I, my mileage is way different than his. So I had shut up, you know, because, and this is probably an important part. That's why, um, you know, it'll, it'll go out there into the ethers. I mean, I, you know, after, after they got rid of me on YouTube, I, um, I told people they're going to do that. Then they started, you know, they got up to like 10 strikes where I could never post again. So that was that, right? And it happened very quickly. And I told people it was going to happen. And then they acted like it wasn't going to happen. You know what? You know, yeah. Yeah, I know what's going on. I'm not going to shut my mouth because it's been, that's been more accurate than other people. So, you know, so the subject became a big irritation. And I realized that nobody could say anything about gang stalking, targeted individuals, any of it, because it had all been locked down by infiltrators, by, you know, police, by uh, military, by, you know, by, you know, whatever, by monitors, by minders. Shut down! Well, people talk, but I mean, it goes nowhere. You know, the latest is people that have this uh, problem are schizophrenic because they're hearing voices and they're, you know, they're crazy, you know. So that debate goes on. So you can, you, believe me, uh, I know. You don't ever get beyond the schizophrenic debate. No one has so far. Ha! No one has. So... They've also made the huge error of trying to take gang stalking and lock, you know, cordon it off in a certain area and rope it off like there's the subject. And it doesn't go any further than that, you know. And it's separate from this mind control over here, this thing over here, alien invasion over here, this thing over there, witchcraft over here, demonic warfare over there. It's got nothing to do with this. Then they rope it off. We're going to rope it off and keep it roped off. So no one ever gets any discussion about anything that ever, ever solves anything. Just keep the victims victims. And they do this with lots of subjects. They've done this with the, the whole MK Ultra thing, right? They've cordoned that off from this. <laughs> and then, then they've got more partitions. Not just that. I got lots more partitions for you. The UFO thing, of course, another partition. You know, witchcraft, Satanism, but you know, you know, the adrenochrome follies, another cordon it off now. Thank you. You know, uh, military involvement with uh you know, beings from outer space, blah, 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 advanced technology, portals, time travel, etc. Cordon that off. Lock that shit down. Now, it's all separate, so nobody can find out anything about anything. They were there. As a child, they were there. tracking you watching you who it's hard to identify them but they were there then that's not within the confines of the subject Zev oh I see okay well then then we can never get everyone's an expert oh yes Mr. Expert oh, okay you know what you're talking about 
when I've been going through this since birth. <laughs> Amazing. And then people ask for prayer because they don't want to be harassed anymore. And they're tired of it all, you know, popping up here, popping up there, popping up here. But the, that guy, now that guy. Oh, no, it's over there. Now it's that guy. It's this place. It's, it's, no, it's that place. No, it's that place. That place. No, now I'm hearing this. You hearing that? Y'all hearing that? You hear that? Now it's something else. That No, if you hear that, you're corrupted. You're not playing the game right. Well, is it a game? Well, in the sense that you were a baby, you were born. No one who has the issue of stalking that became aware of it at a certain time in life. I'm calming down. I, I just, I didn't realize I had so much anger toward the uh, subject. I'm sorry. I'll just wait till more people get in the chat room, I guess. I had anger toward the subject because, you know, just like every subject on the internet gets ruined. And so here's another one. And uh, what it does to people like me, it just shuts us up. I guess that's the whole point, right? And then if you do start talking, they, they come around with a psychiatrist. And they say, you know, come on, take it easier. And, you know, and they start in on that. You know, again, in an effort to, you know, and so you, you get cowed, you get silenced. You have no friends because everyone's a, as a perpetrator. Everyone's an infiltrator. So you just don't even want to broach the subject with anyone. You just want to walk on eggshells so that, you know, you can just, you know, and you just don't trust. You become more and more of a shut-in, isolated. And then they move on to the next guy. But they were there with you when you were born. Oh, yeah. They were there when you were born. They're there with you now. You can't see them, but they're there. That sounds like spirits. No, no. It's Gang Stalking 101. Pro, you're tracking, tracking, tracking. Tra Where's the device? They don't need devices to track you. They don't... That, no one uses... There's no hardware. You know, the CIA and all these people are developing that. They're beyond that now. It's all about frequency today. Now, true, certain devices create frequencies, and those frequencies create nausea. Uh, they, they have sonic weapons to control crowds. All this has gone mainstream, these, these, the, but all this technology I'm talking about is old and antiquated. <laughs> I'm talking about real trouble. Driving down the street. Middle of the night. They're out in their front driveway in their robes. Pointing at you. Now how'd they know you are going to be there when you were 16? That's a long time. That's before the age of technology, is that? How they know you're going to be there? Why are they pointing at you? Look out your window. I'm giving you, you know, private testimony that I haven't told anybody. Go out to the backyard. See the houses down the hill lit up. They're not the same houses that were there before. A bunch of people in tuxedos come to the window and start laughing at you as you're watching them at 2 a.m. A giant clown head appears. You take the binoculars, you look up the hill, there's like a police helicopter swirling around this house or something, getting the, the spotlight on up there. And then there are people arriving at 2 and 3 in the morning bringing their kids along. And then they're stopping and staring at you where you are so far away they probably couldn't see you with your binoculars in the dark pointing and laughing.
pointing and laughing. And, and you know, they, and they're all, all celebrating the fact they know you're watching. And they're high-fiving each other. Now, what are you doing? It's 2.30 in the morning. There's a helicopter overhead. A surveillance helicopter. Not over you, but over them. The next day, you look up there where the party was and all those people all arriving at 2 and 3 in the morning and there's nothing there. No house, no helicopter, no people, nothing. And yet these people then look out the window just down the street at you standing there. And you can see them in the window sitting there reclining in the window going, hmm, yeah. Watching you specifically, knowing exactly the time you'd be outside. Taunting you. Pointing at you. Laughing at you. So you're going to get even now. You're mad now. Who are you going to tell about that? There's no one to tell about it. What was the connection between the non-existent house and the one two doors down? where the people get in the window, and then the guy across the street gets to the window, then a guy down the street gets the telescope, then a guy over across the street has infrared. He says, I can see you with the infrared. It's not on the roof, I didn't see it. And then one morning, about two in the morning, there it was, in full array. The guy works for the CIA. And, you know, but I, I'm like, well, where does it go? It doesn't collapse into the house. Why is it there? along with cameras and everything else. Why that? And what about the cameras? What, they were photographing from all over the place, from you know two miles away. As you look through binoculars and telescopes, you can see them taking pictures of you. The entire city is in on it and laughing about it and in on the, yeah, the nod wink joke. And then you go into a market and get some food. And, ah, hi, 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 hi. Uh, Elvis is back. And then you start making sounds and whistles and grunts and groans and noises and things as you're going along. To watch him now. Watch him around that corner. There he goes. Safeway Market. Now, how is all that coordinated? And then it's into the uh, restaurant or any other establishment, anywhere you want to go. Millions of people, and they're right there waiting. Hello. How's that? It doesn't know no, anywhere. Hundreds, thousands of places. Same greeting. Same thing. In the same day. Uncoordinated. No Electronic coordination, no following, no tracking, none of that. Low to no tech involved. Now what's that? And then, of course, that is repeated anywhere you try to go. So finally you give up and go hide in your home trying to figure out what just happened. I mean, I'd show them I was armed, right? I'd walk around with my guns outside, making sure they understood. They'd drive by and whistle, making noise when they drive by the house. Who are they? Where'd they come from? How'd they know you were there? I don't, there is no connection. There's no central command. And then, but on top of it, well, there is some central in the sense that you're on a closed circuit TV 24 7, and they're all watching, and they're gambling, and they're betting. Well, if that guy's going to make it to the end or not, <laughs> we got him on the ropes now. <laughs> Yay! And they're all laughing. They're all enjoying it. <laughs> yeah! Let him go! <laughs> and, the, and the oddest thing about it is it's not paranoia. It's literally real. You just can't believe it. 
So you hit it the next day. You say you you grow a pair. You're going to go into a store. You're going to go confront those fuckers. And you get out there. And you go into that store, that play, that market. Where there's same people, no memory, no nothing, no. Look at him go! <laughs> yeah, high five. None of that. It's all very. What happened there? And then any millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people all in the same thing. Millions. But then that next day, millions not. Millions. Then somebody says, I know what happened. And I know what's happening to you. Well, you got to tell me. Tell me what's happening. Well, you look a little stressed. Well, yeah, because... I know what happened. You don't have to explain it. So you're in on it, but you're way over here. There's millions of people between us. So you're in on it. It can't be helped. You know, it's got to do with the, you know, off-world stuff. You know, the generations are monitored and tracked and they can flip the whole world on you in one second you know and then flip it back because it's all simulated everything your home the people everything you see is simulated they just push buttons and it and it fucks with you But where are the buttons? They're not on this, you know, plane of existence. And I, you know, like I've gone and, you know, so well, here's, here's a couple where I'm going to wait, wait them out, talk to them. And I'm going to defeat them. But you're, you'd have to defeat millions of people to defeat one. Millions of situations that couldn't be to defeat one. And then they, they ask you to re have that situation repeat for a witness, and it can't repeat. It doesn't repeat. And then all of a sudden it's gone in the sense that, you know, you have the protection of Jesus. The only way, place there is protection is Jesus. In the name of Jesus, please protect me. And then you can be shielded, you know what I mean, from, from that sort of thing. But it's really, it's like the sun, okay? The sun bathes everything upon the earth, correct? It's bathing everything. Everything's being hit by the sun. It's like the sun is on you. I mean, it's bad, probably a bad metaphor. But the sun is on you. So that everything that is hitting you, the sun, is them. Every aspect your past, your present, your future, your desires, your fantasies, your fears, all known, well published, everywhere except where you are, because you can't see, but they all can. Everybody is in on it, but you. How do you... I told you. Can we stop her from... Okay, I'm going to play another song. I mean, that's a that's kind of a load. Okay, so that's a little bit of my... Um, that's a little bit of my uh, testimony about things. Now, I've, I've said it before, but I have to act it out because it's not explainable. 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 You can't explain it. You can't explain it. You cannot explain it. It's not explainable. Unless 
you develop an orthodoxy and put boundaries around it. And then you can explain it, but you then become a liar because you do not put all the information in the little box. Because it's more vast than that. I can't, you know, I, I'm, it's, I tracked it. The minute I sat down here, she starts in. So let's go to this. Playing a couple of songs are just different for you today. And as I, I'm trying to throw off people that might, the people that are kind of following me, I'm trying to throw them off. Well, a lot of people got off with you two. There's nothing I can do about it. I got 50 strikes, you're out. Every single uh, track was uh, hate speech or whatever. <laughs> it's unreal. I, I, th I guess if you mention the occult or witches or anything, you know, Satanist or what, that, oh, you hate them. That's hate speech, you know. But they kill people. Ah, that's hate speech, man. Here's a couple songs you may not have heard, or, you know. How about another? Uh,
Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I put a lot of work into that, you know, and, and uh, it's... What do you think of that? I love track? it. You love that track? Yeah. I, I like the track. I like the track. I like what I, what I did with it, you know. I like the uh, uh, fact that I sang on key, for one thing. But I like the arrangement, that dubby arrangement, and, and it, it's really cool. It's, uh, you know, definitely an old 60s, late 60s song and uh, by Neil Diamond, and... Um, not supposed to play that kind of thing here, but I decided today to be rebellious and play it because of licensing issues and so forth. But, you know, it's uh, definitely um, my own version. It's not like it's stealing anything from good old Neil. He had the classic. I'm just kind of uh, giving him some praises by uh, by imitating, really, in a sense. But I put my own snappy beats in there. I like it. I like the arrangement a lot. I like the um, the layered vocal as well, and I like my the timber of my vocal in that one, the, the thickness of the, and the, uh, the breathiness of it. Yeah, you know, and it's several layers, but yeah, you know, um, it would have been great if I had some backup singers, I guess. You know, maybe some chicks singing in the background. Da, 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 da. Trish can do that. She's one take Trish. But uh, anyway, so, so this subject you know, the, the, you know, targeted individual day, you know, it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, I, I have, you know, an experience as well. And I'm no longer going to just sit back and let everybody else say all their stuff. And then you find out they really don't know most of them, what they're talking about. And, you know, even when we talked to like Duncan and, you know, the, no offense to the doctor down there in San Antonio, um, I forget his name now. But um, my experience is just, it, it includes all that, but it's just much broader and deals with, um, you know, transcendence of time and space, especially space, but especially time, time and space. And uh, it's really a big quantum physics issue, okay? It deals with the quantum realm. And that's what I've been trapped in. And I'm still trapped there. Things have been quiet, um, you know, and, and, well, probably not after today. Because they don't want you figuring, I'll tell you what they don't want. Number one, you have they too. They are bothering you, okay? The, the one thing they don't want is you to figure it out. You know, because the, they, they want you to think it's technology. You know, they love that idea. They want you to think it's witchcraft or, you know, some kind of spell casting or, you know, remote viewing of some kind, getting inside your head and operating you, but it's them, you know. They love, you know, possession, right? Possession. They love it when you get cordoned off in there or when it's like, yeah, I'm it's like hearing voices, it's got to be, it's V to K. Yeah, they're beaming me from some like, satellite or something. But when everyone hears the same thing at the same intensity and it's obviously not a frequency that's that's because you can you can take frequencies of ideas translate them to frequencies and beam them into people's heads and then they hear the the very they can even hear your voice saying it right but these mass beams are uh oh i said the word mass uh oh well, look out don't get in trouble now The whole world is under V to K. Mass beams, mass frequencies. But they're frequencies that bathe the earth that are filled with ideas and sounds and voices. Just people, regular people, don't admit that they hear anything. The only the ones that admit it they get you know put on Thorazine or they put on you know drugs, labeled, their lives ruined. There's, you know, there's people that pray and you listen for God's voice. Always the still small voice. Always never, never really competing with any of that stuff. And then there's the thought, you know, better than voice is thought. Okay, thought is much more powerful than voice. Voice indicates, you know, an attitude, a spin, a thing. But thought 
They appear like your thoughts. They appear like your ideas. And then you go somewhere or you do something or even affect your hunger or your distaste. And you think it's you, but it's not. Now you're starting to get into the realm of fuckery. Real bad fuckery, <laughs> if I may. Because they can ruin your life, too, in that, in that sense. You know, by the, the COVID thing, for example. How many feel like they're locked down? They did a good job on you, then. How many feel that like COVID's a thing and you're locked down? There's no such thing. This is all about Klaus. Big pig-headed pig! And I say, drop out. Don't be a Republican or a Democrat. You know, they're both the same. They both, they both cheat. They both lie. And they're basically selling you out as chattel, slaves, to the big machine that's already running everything. We've already had our singularity. This is an illusion because they want something from you still. And that's why the illusion's here because it's very valuable. That's all I'm going to say. I, I'm, I realize now I, um, I would just get myself in trouble talking about this stuff. Um, I mean, you know, with the ortho, with the, you know, with the Gestapo, you know, the orthodoxy on the internet of this is the way it is. They're part of the problem. <laughs> so we just shut up, a lot of us. Now, I really know what I'm talking about, he says. He writes you an email. You don't really know about this or this or this or this or these military operations or these or all these apparatuses. I've, I've been working on this stuff all my life, and I know exactly what... <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not really dealing with hardware right now. Well, you don't really know what you find. It ain't about hardware. Hardware has nothing to do with it. I mean, it's something the military likes hardware, I guess. And they can play with hardware. And they can beam things into people. Beam, beam. But I'm talking about creating worlds. I'm talking about the fact that this reality is really, uh, it's, it's got, it's, you know, whatever the, you think the military industrial complex is, it has very little to do with gang stalking and targeted individuals. Other than just monitoring what's going on. They're not really allowed to um, call the shots. But somebody is. And they're way above the CIA and all that shit. Way above that. Way, oh, geez, not even CIA, you know, has to take orders. The, they're the workers. If you saw Fritz Lang's movie, The Workers, they dutifully um, walk uh, into Molech to die. The workers. The workers. The people that make this simulation possible. So if you start with a premise, T.I.'s, that this is a simulation... Now you have a bunch of advantages. One, nobody can dictate to you your experience. And I'm sorry, you've been bullied. You know, the biggest bullies are the ones who are trying to make things or something they can understand. Two plus two is four or whatever. But two plus two is not four in, this, in, this, in these other realms. It's two plus two doesn't exist. And, you know, and to be able to get your mind around it, it's not really possible because it's uh, very, very far above our, you know, ability to, to comprehend because it's a, it's a quantum nonlinear, you know, non-space, non-time uh, situation. Anyway, so you go into the store, you go into the uh, bookstore and they're grunting and groaning and whistling and making noises and 
you know, generally harassing you and you know, you know it's about you even though they're not looking at you and you're really uncomfortable and you feel like running. Okay, so then you go back, you're going to show some courage. You're going to go back and face that beast, face that demon, face whatever happened, that thing. You go in there. It's non-existent. It's just normal. Uh, people are still there. That Hey! And they're not looking at you with, you know, murderous intent. Now, the idea of murdering does occur. That's another thing people don't realize that, you know, if it's all them and one of you... <laughs> And that it can be gotten away with, you know, then people murder. But those people that are doing the murdering aren't really there. It's hard to explain. It's, they're kind of phantoms. Elvis. Elvis has left the building, they'll say. So how do you defeat it when, the, when it's like that omnipotent, you know, to where it's everything everywhere all the time, which is a phrase I say a lot. You know, how, well, the, the, you can't defeat it. That's why there's God. That's why the Lord's there, to teach you to come to the Lord, to have the Lord fight that battle, because you can't do it. And I've been delighted with the Lord fighting these battles, because I don't like it. And I don't want to go mano to mano with people, and I don't want to get into arguments. I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to start a liberate the TI movement. I know you have these political movements trying to, you know, it's very closely tied to human trafficking, too, and all the evils of the world, the occult, Satanism, uh, adrenochrome, all that stuff. It's all tied together. And, you know, gang stalking TIs, you know, t stalking, targeting, targeting individuals who are not programmable, which is really what it comes down to. And they can monitor you and they can see that you're, you, the, the program you didn't take and then they, they put, you know, then you get, you know, scrutinized. And it doesn't even matter. You can have, you know, when, once that's perceived, you're automatically on the list. You know, you're, you're not, there's no list here on earth, but I mean, it's, it's this thing. And then, you know, it's, it's a, sh you know, shot in the dark, you know, one day it's okay out there. And the next day it's not okay out there. One day, you know, I've had times where I've had to pray with a, a friend, you know, just to be able to go into the market. I couldn't go in there. I, did, I don't know what was, it was like there was these invisible hands holding me down. I couldn't, and I was terrified of something. I, I don't know what it was exactly. But, and then when I got in there, people started doing their, you know, this stupid thing, and I realized they weren't people. You know, they don't exist. And so I started, you know, shoving my card into people and you know, throwing my weight around and... <laughs> The other day, what I did when they started in on me in this one uh, uh, sprouts, I put my gator kind of mask over my my whole face. I covered my entire face, my eyes, my nose, my head. So I just look like a kind of a, you know, like a blank face. And I started like wobbling, you know, like I was going to wobble into somebody. I could, you know, I, I started like coughing, <coughs> wobbling. Oh my God! And everybody cleared away, and I thought they were going to report me to the manager, but they, they didn't. But the manager, and then, you know, at, at that point, it flipped again, and uh, then everything was, you know, relative. There were a few monitors, a few minders in there that were really pissed off, but uh, it, it went, for the most part, very smoothly. They're just mean people, you know. But they're real. Those meanies were real. And then a lot of the others were just filler. You know, they're just... They're not real people. They're they're um, they're like uh, phantom clones of people. And then when you do see the real people, they have no memory of having you know really been there in that situation. They say, "Well, I did go to the bark. I did shop, but I don't remember what you're saying." They were there. They just weren't there in your configuration. You know, they they you know it all went down like that. And they'll say, "Yes, I was there. I did go to this aisle. I did pick out the olive oil. I did go down the thing. I got some salt and some pepper, and then I got some uh, you know some pork chops and some salad for you know. And then I got in line to leave. And you're saying that you remember that I did all those things, but I don't remember. You know, but I don't remember anything weird I wasn't thinking about you I wasn't trying to harass you or get in the way of you when you were trying to get your groceries I wasn't you know beaming ideas into your head I might have been singing a little song or something but I would, it had nothing to do with you 
and that person's testimony is correct. It had nothing to do with you, and that person had nothing to do with you, yet there they were having something to do with you at the same time they're denying it. It's both things are true. I'm not going to address the, uh, you know, people that have the, the whole, you know, they have this um, kind of like, uh, you know, this this idea that they're, you know, the, the neural systems we have are interchangeable. You know what I mean? It's like they react to one thing one day and not to the same thing another. So they have this whole thing about people manipulating neural systems and being able to infiltrate. Yes, they inf the whole point is to infiltrate. They infiltrate. Usually they create a, a ritual. A, a ritual is created to open a portal to let the, uh, you know, the infiltrators in. The entities in and they have to look for you know people to possess i.e. take over their arms and legs and their minds and then you know and then you have a perception that something's in your head something is moving you or you're not quite yourself and then they fail they fall out of you because your personality is strong if your personality is strong they can't stay there they get kind of flush it's like being, they're trying to find a way in and they usually fail most people are not possessed in that way, but reality is manipulatable in the sense that it can be one thing one minute and another thing another minute. And that's why when you have, that's why the TI community, you know, in a way rejected the Mandela effect, tried to create another partition so that you couldn't ever learn anything. You know, you couldn't put a, you have to kind of look at everything at once as a whole to start getting an idea about what you're dealing with, right? And as long as there are partitions and areas you can't go because that means you're a CIA agent or you're this or you're that, then that controls people to keep them in the confines of each subject so they can never learn about, they can never, you know, become a, th a real threat, put it that way. And I'm sorry, you know, it's, it's like... Uh, you know, the, the, the story that I've been telling about it, in a sense, I've been trying to tell this story for a long time. It doesn't change. It's If people could tell me why they were there at 2 in the morning pointing at me on Sunset Boulevard, screaming along in uh, the car, and they're all sitting there pointing, like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and things like that. Uh, there's no explanation, because... It cannot be coordinated from a central command. It's not electronically coordinated. The people are not possessed by electronics. They're they're not there. You know, in a sense, it's a hallucination, but it's not my hallucination. And so it's it's like like a collective hallucination that it would be objectively. Uh, but but then again, they're, they're, you know, it's that uh, it's uh, it's not provable. And there's no connection between the people. They don't know each other. And um, you have to be honest about that. They don't know each other. They can't possibly coordinate that. And uh, there's just some things that are just not, not possible. And it's not possible with communications, frequencies, physics, not possible with the technology that we have. And uh, I know there are people that are, you know, that I've got wrote a story about a guy that was being cooked by the next door neighbor, you know, with, 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 you know, with, with devices, with instruments, with hardware. And that's a, you know, in this case, it was a, like a military operation. But in that same military is advanced technology, not because that's you, you. I think you'd agree with me in saying that directed energy weapons are generally not advanced technology. Would you at least agree to that? Because that's really true. That would not be advanced technology. Laser weapons are not tech, advanced technology. Electromagnetic weapons are not advanced technology. Be be beaming frequencies of people is not advanced technology. Satellites beaming things at, at various people is not advanced technology. Uh, implants that pick up beams from people on the ground in a truck somewhere, that is not uh, advanced technology. What Gates is trying to do with the uh, hooking people up to AI with a digital ID, that's, that's about as advanced as it gets here, but that's still archaic. Very archaic. Very backwards. It's almost like he's some kind of hillbilly. 
Sorry, hillbillies. Don't, I don't mean to offend anyone. I like the hillbillies. I love bluegrass. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, Gates, Gates. Well, he got one thing in common. Everybody drops out of school. I dropped out of school myself. I, I found it boring. Um, I did well. You know, I always had A's. I, I had to have the A. I'd, I'd feel cheated. And by then, after a while, I just was, you know, it felt like, you know, a hamster on a wheel. I just was like, you know, I don't need to hear this this communist indoctrination. I mean, that's a really low base thing. When you start getting into the communist indoctrination like we do now and the lockdowns. Now, here's the message today. The, the TIs are really the p pioneers, okay? And people that are targeted individuals are special people. And I'm sorry it's taken me this long to say this, but it's hard to get through all the... You have to realize there's like a whole bunch of chains in front of me trying to whip my head and kill me right now. You know what I mean? They're trying... You know, I, I, this is really a bad topic, I guess. It's just, they don't want to talk about. But the TIs... There hasn't been one person that ever explained their situation to me that was actually explainable by logic. Not one. Not even one. There are always other circumstances regarding the testimony that goes outside the confines of logic. And that's how you know you're being messed with by somebody else. But that somebody else is not necessarily and, and you know, a human on earth. Now look at this whole thing as like an ant farm. And there are people outside the ant farm that are manipulating it. And that's more getting toward the accuracy. But it, it's very powerful. Like I said, they can switch your world out and then switch it back and then make it something else and then throw the Mandela effect at you and change scripture. And then have other people say, it's always been like that. It's always been like that. Make you go nuts. Make you go crazy. You know, you know it wasn't always like that. Then you shut up because you don't want to be labeled as crazy. And they pulled a fast one on you. If they could do that with the Mandela effect, the things they've done, just kind of like the crop circles, you know what I mean? They're just letting us know they're there. Okay? Letting us know they're there. They can manipulate time and space. They can manipulate time travel. Space travel is a matter of walking through portals. It's a matter of, it's, it's a mental thing. You know, they're, they're on kind of on that level. And they are our, are our minders. And they're coming back here. And the Chinese are kind of fooling themselves because I, I think they're on the, the shit list of these entities, whatever they are. And um, the Chinese thing, the Chinese lockdown, should you be caught in the world now where we are, where we're having a Chinese lockdown, you're having a Chinese lockdown. You're having a Chinese lockdown. You're having a Chinese lockdown. Please see reality. You're having a Chinese lockdown. This is a Chinese lockdown. The purpose of it is to destroy the economy, to bring in the, the you know, the global new world order, whatever. Klaus and company, and you know, they're using the Chinese to do the COVID and then they're coordinating with the COVID. Had Trump conceded, if you want to talk politics, if Trump had conceded, uh, there would not be California going into a Chinese lockdown ordered by Newsom. Do you realize how that's hurting people? The, the fact of what they're doing in California now, they're going, oh, the whole thing is spiking and we have to lock it all down. Just when these people are starting to get their sea legs, get their businesses and AMC was starting to open up in theaters and, you know, and then they just pulled the plug. That's what they intend to do. They let you have a little bit and then they pull it again. And they keep doing it. In China, it's all wide open. Everything's open. Every store is open. The factories, the movie theaters, the restaurants, everything is open in Asia. They wonder what's going on here. The Chinese are doing it. They're completely open over there. Disneyland is open. They're doing this to California because that's where they have to come in, in the, in, in the in the in the in case there has to be an invasion, which is we're right on the verge of going total nuclear here, right on the verge. 
I think they're going to, they're, they're vying more for a civil war. It's what they really want, maybe over the election or over something, you know what I mean? And it's, the only thing I can say is if you want to avoid a bloodbath, people, you know, better pray hard to avoid it. But uh, you better hope that Trump actually makes a move this time, because if he does, if he keeps on dawdling and delaying and letting all these people running around the communists, because he's not a communist. I mean, that's one thing you could say. But if he doesn't, then it's uh, game over, you know. It's okay, you know, they're, they're, but, you know, New Mexico is under the lockdown. It's, we're under a Chinese lockdown, you know, because the governor is Chinese. She works for the Chinese. Right. The, all the politicians in America work for the Chinese communists. Romney is a big time China, China doll. Big time China doll, Mitt Romney. What a, what a, you know, I just, I love to see when he quotes scripture on his Twitter and I love to, you know, take a shit all over the guy. And punch his lights out while doing it. I can't stand these people. You know what I mean? When they start saying Jesus, I just want to go. I go nuts. I go crazy with anger. I won't put up with it. Don't say Jesus unless you mean it. You're talking about the king of kings there. You're talking that, about that name above the other. You're talking about Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, the one creator. I don't care what you think it's a patriarchy or not. I don't give a shit what you think. All your thoughts are wrong. You're dealing with the source of all energy throughout all things. You denigrate that, I won't have it. Your ignorance betrays you. If you're ignorant about it, just keep your mouth shut. Best policy anyway for all of us. We don't know something, we best be quiet. I do know about what happened to me, though, in this uh, targeting and being targeted. I do understand what happened to me. I do know how long it's been going on. I do understand the deeper levels of it. And actually, Girl Next is all about it. It's all in there. So thank God that happened. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's something you can go look at. I know you guys would all really dig it. But what you'd really love is the one I wrote where the guy is being targeted. The whole family isn't even his. It's like Truman Show family. Wife, daughters, all that. They're just actors. Guy next door is cooking him. Eventually, he figures out he's a super soldier. He goes on the warpath. Uh, there must be, in terms of perpetrators, there must be a body count of at least 200 people or 300. And then the world's ending at the same time. The world's coming to a close. Yeah, the sky looks weird and there's apocalyptic signs everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's called The Voice. And we're trying to, you know, we're trying to get that into production. We have another thing we're doing and we're doing a a graphic novel about Girl Next that um, we haven't even finished. Today or tomorrow, the next couple of days, we actually finished the movie. And then we're out, our sales that guy is out there trying to make a domestic deal for us. But he's run into some people that say the content is very strong, very controversial, and they're afraid of it. So here we go again, you know, YouTube again. Please, Lord, please get us through at least. Well, we also have invitations to hundreds of festivals and you know they 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 love it and whenever they play it at a festival but we can't play it there because they have virtual festivals which means somebody could steal it you know pirate it and if that happens then we can't make a deal you know with anybody about anything so we had to we had to pull out of those and we have to wait for a real theatrical festival and that's the way it should be seen anyway with surround sound and a beautiful picture and you know all that and very happy to show it to people but it's it's again um, it says a lot about this. I mean, it's just like a total eye-opener. It's, 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 it actually says more than what I've said here today in, a, in an elegant way, not in a bombastic way like I tried today. You know, I, I feel like a failure right now. I feel like ever since YouTube pulled me, I just feel like I really haven't been back on my game. I've just been kind of floundering. I mean, I may not be, but I feel like I am, you know, and... uh you know, it's funny, when I wrote the screenplay for Society, the first draft, it was basically born out of gang stalking incidents when I was 18. It was actually born out of gang stalking. 
But it's more than gang stalking, you see what I mean? Now, right, well, the scene didn't make it into the film, but I had a scene where driving down Sunset Boulevard in the middle of the night, and uh, they're all out there in their robes looking at me and pointing. But that that's a real incident that happened. Oh, at the same time, I was being tracked by a triangular craft. I didn't bring that into it because, see, that then blows you out of the other subject. That every, you know, see, that now you've said nothing. Now you're no one. Now you're nothing. You have no voice. You've been erased. And I'm sick and tired of being erased. I'm tired of being erased because my testimony doesn't fit the, uh, you know, the orthodoxy narrative that's out there. And all the experts and all that. And no one's gotten anywhere with it. Because nobody has ever, right? If they had gotten somewhere with it, there'd be a general understanding. The world is a simulation. You can start with that. Yes, they can fuck with you. They can push buttons. I, I just, that's a metaphor, you know, not literally, but they can alter your reality any which way they feel like. And significant people in your life, your family, all those people are all manipulatable. You see what I mean? It's like, that's the technology you would attribute to say, quote, alien, end quote. But that's how they do it. That's what it is. And I'm sorry that it doesn't fit the orthodoxy. And people, you know, pride themselves in being victims of this and that. They, they, they wear a badge. They say, well, I'm a TI and this is my identity. And what they, they say, well, what do you know about your What do you know about your world? And then it's like within these confines. So all I ask you to do with me is don't believe me. Just let my voice have an effect on you like all the other, ex like the people out there that are experts. I'm no expert. I just have my testimony. But I mean, look, look how long ago it was. 18, you know, uh, what, 50 years ago? Yeah, like 50 years ago, folks. 50, 5 -0. And it was just as strong, just as amazing as it is today. In fact, it was going on a hundred years ago and a thousand years ago and forever. As far as the eye can see, it's been going on. People just keep their mouths shut about it. They don't want to, well, they sell out so that they don't get the same treatment you get as a protection from it. Because, uh, you know, everyone, well, you couldn't be programmed. So you're going to get, you know, the, the, you know they're, so they're, they put the eye on you. And the eye is everywhere. And it's throughout your life. It's there when you're a baby. It's there before you were born. And it's horrible. But, you know, it's, that's how powerful it is. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, people need to factor that in and understand. It's not sci-fi. It's not a Twilight Zone episode. This is, you know, it seems like it. The thing that blows my mind is, you know, and I, I, I have to learn from each other. I'd learn from somebody who had written some lyrics to a song that was saying the people there those were not the same people that you knew. And I went to it, I said, brother, what, what do you mean by those lyrics? And, and he goes, you know, Zeph. Really? Zeph, you know what we mean by those. And I freaked out. I, I got triggered. You know what I mean? I, I thought he was messing with me. I think I thought that and I blew him off, actually. You know, I've, 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 I definitely got in his face and broke the relationship because I felt he was, he was, you know, I, I couldn't trust him. I just thought, how would he know that? You know what I mean? How would he know that? But that was exactly the right answer. And I hadn't, I hadn't thought of it that way, but then it was like, yeah, that's right. They're not the same people. Because you go back the next day and it, the same people are there, but they're not, they have no memory of it. So it's, you know what I mean? It's very Mandela effect-ish. It's like the Mandela effect. It was there and then it wasn't there. It was there, then it wasn't there, and there it is again. 
It's there, it's not there, and then there it is again. It's okay for a while. Hope it doesn't happen again. Oh no, mommy's gotten sick again. What? Maybe you need to go in for a little refresher course, huh? You know, I think that'd probably be a good idea. What do you mean? You know, the hawk is flying around the sky looking for the rabbit. And there's that rabbit. You don't want to be that rabbit with that hawk's right there and he's hungry. He sees that rabbit. He sees with 50 50, he's got 50 50 vision. You got maybe 20 20 at best. He's got 50 50. He beads right down in on that rabbit. He, there's no way he's not going to grab that rabbit and have that meal. Do you understand me, Zeph? You understand me, Zeph? Do you understand me, Zeph? Do you understand me? Who are you? I'm just a guy in the gas station. Who put you up to this? No answer. What are you going to do, report me? Well, you make a fuss, you'll get reported. They'll haul you off to a, some kind of psychiatric facility. <laughs> you can't win, Zeph. We win. Okay, got it? You're not going to win. You're not going to win. You are not going to win. And, uh, of course, that's a lie because I've already won. But that's the, you know, kind of the thing. You know, Bob Dylan was intimating about it, too. He was talking about it. Most people don't realize he wrote a book back in the 1970s or so called Tarantula. And it was completely, there's no punctuation in it. It's just words that go, that fill up a book. And he's kind of got, you know, he's going off on psychotic fugues and all kinds of things. But yes, yes, uh, he understands. All the people that got weird on drugs, they understand. They just, they understand, but they don't ever want to go there again. They saw something and they don't want to see it again. All right? Because nobody wants to really see that you're just at an ant farm subject to these things, these personages that are manipulating the ant farm. You don't want to be seen that way. You don't want to think that your life is like that. You want to think that we humans are in control here. And I got uh, two words for you. Chinese lockdown. It never, could have never happened. It's completely impossible. Yes, it's, um, it's the idea of gang stalking, which is what it is. It's gaslighting, right, by the media. It's gone mainstream. Everyone is gaslit. Everyone is gang stalked now. Everyone's under surveillance. When they get the contact tracing, then everybody is a TI. Every single person is a target because if you're living in America, you're a target. The Chinese want it for themselves. The Chinese want to kill us all, okay? And they want America for themselves. That's the plan. And the people like Romney and, you know, Obama and all these kind of, you know, assholes have sold us out to the Chinese and allowing, you know, their own technology and bioweapons and everything else to do just that, to kill us all so they can move in. So they can get the Mandarin going and they, they take over the buildings and they don't want to crush the buildings. They want to move into the houses and they want to replace us. They've already got the birth rates down 50%. You know, oh, oh, I didn't know that. Well, you know, that's one of the goals. Get the birth rate down to, birth rate down to zero. Keep everyone down in pandemic. They figure two years from now they can start moving in. Unless, of course, we respond. Shit, I would have nuked the fucking shit. I would have, Beijing wouldn't even exist if I was president. I would get people loyal to me. I'd fire every general. I, I, I'd send them to Gitmo. I'd, I'd hang them. I have to make it so if I say, okay, we're going nuclear, we go nuclear. First order of business, Chinese Navy, Chinese, you know, and these are not the Chinese people. These are the, the, CCP is what I'm talking about. You know, we're not against Chinese. 
or Asians or anybody were against um, totalitarian, authoritarian rule where you have nothing, they keep, you're just a human slave. You know, just like in Fritz Lang's, you know, 1927 Metropolis, the workers would walk right up to their own death. They want workers. In other words, core you out. You comply. They get your soul. You're nobody inside. It was time for you to die. You just go ahead and die on cue because you're dutiful. And then they're the slaves. They fight to not die. Right? They're slaves. And uh, then there's the suits, the privileged. They also get killed because they fall to temptation. And then there's whoever's left after that. One big uh, Tower of Babel, one big pyramid. A pyramid scam. Anyway, the Chinese one in here, the, the Chinese Communist Party wants in here. It's the CCP lockdown. So this Michelle Luhan Grisham has been obviously made millions and millions off the Chinese. Uh, where she stores it, usually these people put it in offshore bank accounts. Um, you know, they, they've been, she's been paid to turn you over. So what she's doing in New Mexico, the same thing Gavin Newsom is doing in California. The whole point of California is to lock it down to destroy the businesses. It's got nothing to do with COVID. And that Eric Garcetti, he went to Harvard Westlake School, a bastion of these, you know, these people that are like the elites, but the elites die. The, see, the elites are s scheduled to die. The elites are going to die. The elites are going to die along with the slaves and the workers. All three categories of people are going to die because it's not about them in the future. Back in 1927, Fritz Lang already had this nailed. He had it laid out. And I have a clip, like I say, on Facebook, and you can watch it. And it's only about three minutes long. It just gives you a nice encapsulated look at reality. You know what I mean? At actual reality, not what everybody spins. I've been listening. You know, I listened to preachers over the years. I've listened to uh, testimony from people involved in MK Ultra and all that stuff, and then people involved in you know, targeted individuals and gang stalking and gaslighting and, you know, then also people involved in the Mandela effect and people involved in all these different, you know, space, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, extra, extra civilizations of humans that broke away in the past, which there are many. And, um, you know, that, that appear like aliens to us at this point. You know, there's all this, all this kind of mystery out there. All this stuff is hidden from us. And, um, you know, but there's a lot going on. And uh, so I, I've listened to all these different things from, you know, these different testimonies, these different, you know, and all the, 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 the people that are like Stephen Greer people that are, you know, trying to contact the extraterrestrials and, you know, the beings flying around in the, in the you know, in the, in the uh, you know, cans of tuna and things. Um, They've, they've, no, I, no, I don't want to put him down, but you know, they've all gotten really depressed. He's gotten very suicidal. He said a lot of people have committed suicide because these beings don't respond to them. You know what I mean? They're, they're not making progress. And he says that the government's also liquidating people because they don't want people to find out what the government is, 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 is doing, killing people is stopping people from finding out the, the real truth about the whole thing. That it is just one big simulation. That's that's the main thing they don't want you to find out. And if you already have it, you already know that they're not going to do anything to you because you know, obviously, no. It's it's really whether people believe you or not. And no one believes me, so it's that's you know, that's just like you know another theory out there. But they don't want you to find out also that the connection between the alien quote unquote and the human. And, you know, what's really space all about, what portals are about, what's advanced technology, how come it leads nowhere. And, um, and then, of course, the, mind, the technology of mind where a lot of the uh, spaceships of the past were mind ships, mind space travel. And then there's the, the more advanced aspect, which is you don't really need a body. You could be invisible and still be there. You know, and there's all this, all this going on too. You know, at the same time, so it's uh, there's not something to guard. They, they, you know, they, there's not like 
Well, there are seven different kinds of beings from outer space that we deal with here on Earth. There are the tall whites, and there are the, uh, you know, the insectoids, and there are the reptoids, and uh, you got the other thing, and, you know, there are these set things. And nothing is set. There's millions of things. There's huge diversity in all the different aspects. of Star Wars is actually more accurate with that bar scene. You know, there's huge diversity of all kinds of, you know, um, aspects. But here on this planet, whatever you want to call it, what they're trying to do is stop people from being aware. And so, because they're really using us as food and, um, you know, and energy, right? Use food for energy. So they're using us as an energy source. We are slaves here. We're being used as an energy source. So when we recreate, we're really cloning rather than recreating. And so it's, 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 uh, we, we got to get out of this place. If it's the last thing we ever do, we got to get out of this place, though, seriously. And that's Jesus, right? The way, the truth, the life, the Alpha, the Omega, the source of all things, uh, the King of Kings, the source of all things. Uh, God is on the throne. That is where our redress comes from. And yes, He's provided a way to bridge the gap, to heal the breach. And basically, the whole this whole configuration of space, time, technology, all this, it's going to burn up very soon. It's going to, the whole thing is going to burn to a crisp. It, there'll be no more sun, moon, stars, any of it. There'll be no more. Oh, new heaven, new earth. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I guess so in a sense. But this, what we're in right now is going to burn up. It's going to burn to a crisp. The whole thing is going to burn. The end of the world is you're going to look up to the sky. You're going to see it burning. And you're going to know, you know, you're next. It's going to go. The whole thing's going to go. And it's been prophesied in the Bible. And that is not some light prophecy. That's the real deal. It's going to burn up. This whole reality is going to burn up along with whoever is not redeemed. And Christ, they're going to burn up with it. Only the redeemed, only the eternal go on. But then again, you know, you could make a case that, well, they were always eternal. It was always going to, nothing ever really burn. It was always going to, you know, yeah, you can make, diff there's different aspects to it. You know, like nothing ever happens. It's just, it's just a solid object. Nothing ever happens. It's just a solid force field. You know what I mean? Nothing has moved. It's just perfection there, you know, and there's nothing to add or take away. It just is what it is. You could go there if you like. That's very cold. Very cold concept. Um, anyway, in terms of, if, you know, if you fit into the category of TI, the one thing you have to do is you just got to really have that strong relationship with God through Jesus. And whether you believe or not, you're just going to have to start praying in Jesus' name anyway and hope something sticks because that's the one that can fight this battle. The whole point is, you can't fight it by running around after him. You can't fight it by trying to throw him in jail. You can't fight it by taking videotape of them and tracking them and all this stuff because it's a fluid reality. It keeps changing, so you can never nail it down. And um, that's that's one thing I've seen a lot of people going around trying to videotape, and it's just it, they don't get anywhere. They don't get convictions. It doesn't happen. It's not adjudicatable the way we adjudicate things. It's, 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 it has to be the Lord that judges. It's got to be the Lord that puts it away. The Lord has to create the path for you. You can't create your own path. You're like a baby. We're all like babies here. We're all like babies. We can't, we're not like adults that can forge a path. We can't do it. You know, it has to be, you know, God has to carry us. And that's just the way it's got to be. That he's not going to carry you if you, if you don't want to be carried. You know, with our free will, we can so we say, Lord, please take me and change my life. I just want to be your will. I just want to be in your will. I just want to be in your will. And that's the best place to be. And in fact, I can't imagine a better place to be in any configuration of reality than with God. And then, of course, what happens with the perpetrators? Okay. I say, Zeph, why do you laugh at these people when you see them out there in public? It's not that I laugh. It's that I'm not afraid. Why are you, I used to be very afraid. I used to run and hide. But there is no place to run and there is no place to hide. You know, when you start going that, they just, they bully you all the more and they kick you all over the place. And then, of course, the real people never kicked you, but, you know, they, they just want you to go maybe shoot somebody. 
Maybe you're going to find that guy that did this to you. And some can be very violent. I mean, some can burn your house down. Some can sh kill all your children. A lot of people think that somebody made my daughter jump off the you know bridge just to get to me, you know. And that can happen. You know, of course it can happen. She jumped off the bridge. It, it did get to me. It did pretty much ruin my life. But I've had to go on, you know, and and um, all of that was part of the same game that's been waged against me from the beginning. The same thing. And why are they against me? It's because I didn't come from, you know, I'm not a clone. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You know, come from. Uh, you know, it's 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 kind of like who you are is what determines whether you're targeted or not. And if you're if you're a child of the Most High God, you definitely are targeted, and you definitely are going to be persecuted. And everyone that is a child of the Most High is targeted. They may not call it that, but they also have a lot of unfair, horrible things happen. People spy on them. In my case, I had minders and spies when I was two, when I was three, when I was four, when I was five. When this stuff started that early in my life. You know something? Most of those people were not real. But I've had to contend with them all these years. You know, the watchers. And it's if you look in their eyes, it's not there's an intelligence behind there that's not them. It's something else looking through their eyes, watching. And they watch you. And I think one of the they watch you if if you're if you're ever going to do anything in the future where God allows you to do it and they can't touch you, um, they're going to watch you all the way up until that event. And may, maybe in the hopes they can they can sway you from finalizing your duty here, which is you know we come here to to thwart the enemy, and the way we thwart the enemy is by turning to the Most High God with our faith in Jesus and and and. We are transformed into these beings of light. And that's what they're worried about. But on the other hand, they don't have control over that. They're, they're not going to stop us from fulfilling our destiny. They're not going to stop us from being who we already are. They're playing a losing battle. That's why I say they lose. The lizards of David Icke, the uh, archons of other people, the uh, demons, the... Uh, the uh, cult practitioners, the Satanists, the uh, the people that th keep thinking that this is the way. There is no way. That way leads to death. The only thing that leads to life is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last, the living water that is available to anyone to drink freely, whoever desires it. That's eternal life, and that's available to us. But it's not really available to them because they've already made their decision to basically worship death. That that people of the earth, the people of Satan, the people of the minders and all those people, they're in a death cult. And, you know, what they don't understand is the death that they're in the cult about is their own. Because the people that they're targeting are never going to die. Isn't that funny? Isn't that ironic, huh? They're never going to die. They're target. They're, they're, it's like targeting... You know, wanting the sun to die tomorrow. You know, so you're targeting it. You know, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna give it the, the evil eye, and it's gonna just explode or something, and then it doesn't. It just stays there day after day. Yeah, the the eternal ones, i.e., children of the Most High God, will just persist day after day after day. They'll die out to their outer bodies, but then they go on with the Lord, and you know, they are the energy source. They are the creators of the world, of the worlds. Of the of the realms of everything that is created, and they will continue in their in their you know and even if if the sun dies and the moon and the stars and all that then they continue on anyway and something else is created, it never stops it never has it never will. When you align with that, that's life. But when you align with death, then those things fall away and they just burn up and that's the end of them. And there's no mind, no no thought about them. That it's like they never existed really in the first place. It's just part of a process, an impersonal process, by the way, in the end. Uh, 
I've been praying for some of you out there that, that are having troubles right now finding uh, peace. And uh, because a lot of you, cause some of you are very intelligent, you think too much. You're thinking a lot about things and about who's trying to betray you and, and all that. But I'm praying for there to be a quiet peace, just a, a point of rest. Because I think that's what that really needs to happen. There needs to be a point of rest from all this. And, you know, no, you don't have to figure it out. And it, it just, but I, I think when, I think one of the big problems that the uh, sort of TI community has had is it's been, so much emphasis has been on, uh, no, it's just sad what's happened to it all on, on YouTube. It's really been a YouTube thing. It's almost like, it's 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 a sad situation that all the bickering and everything has ruined it as a subject. But the the topic will go on because these things happen. I experienced it not that long ago, a very, you know, a, you know, the group kind of thing that was really coming out of a hive mind. And they intended to hurt us real bad. And, uh, you know, it wasn't really based on technology. It was just based on that. It was based on witchcraft more, but it was the same thing of targeting uh, and using the uh, demon legion as a way to do it. And, um, you know, try to channel that. And then, you know, just, just uh, tremendous forces. And, um, you know, they failed in the end because the Most High God prevailed. So they failed. It was painful, though. It turned into a real war. So I've had, you know, pretty much hand-to-hand -hand combat within the last, you know, year or two. You know, the same way I've had it throughout my life, which, you know, total spiritual warfare. But that's the only way you can really defeat the gang stalking. Now, if you, if you, you know, there are people that go out and they kill their perpetrators. Or they have them killed. I've seen that too. Um, but all those people, it pops up again somewhere else if they haven't gone to jail for murder, which is the other thing you're taking out of society. So not a good idea. We don't advocate violence against others or self. Suicide doesn't work because you're going to keep facing it. It's just a thing that you have to overcome, you know? And if you could just see it as micro macro that, you know, you're, you're micro, but you are also the macro. When you overcome it within yourself, it overcomes, it, it's overcome outside of you as well. Have you ever noticed that? How the way you're feeling about yourself changes the events that happen to you? Have you noticed that, folks? Well, it's something like that, but with a strong faith, you can always mitigate. A strong, you know, when I see people being kicked around or people being followed or harassed or, you know, really having trouble, it's sometimes, and this is not a criticism, but they need more faith in Jesus. They just need more faith, that's all. And, you know, you can listen and you can understand and you can, you can recommend things. And, and they can say, look what those people are doing. We should get, the, you know, you, going out and getting those people isn't going to do it. Because those people don't even know they're involved in it. Those people aren't even the, really the ones that are doing it. It's someone else. You know, but they look like those people. I understand. Yes, it's the technology that they have to do this is so advanced, Okay. It, you know, I said there's no advanced technology, not in man's terms. It's so advanced that people can't understand it, can't comprehend it. They can switch whole worlds out on you. They can. This Chinese thing is gaslighting and gang stalking, and it can be switched out tomorrow. We got in this configuration. They switched it in on us. It's impossible. The thing we're going through right now cannot happen. It cannot happen. Absolutely didn't happen. And now we're, we're suffering under it, aren't we? Well, the next step is uh, contact tracing to be a, a totalitarian surveillance, right? You know, door to door, tattletales, uh, hauling people off to, they're doing it here in New Mexico. They're hauling people off to shelters for their own good. Oh, too many beds in the hospital. We better take them to the shelter. Where's that? Well, it used to be called a FEMA camp, but now it's being called a shelter. Hello? Ring a bell, anybody? Death camps. Ha ha ha. 
If you don't want it, then turn to the Most High God. If you do want it, keep on going in your own mind, and you will for sure run into the uh, Gestapo, and they will throw your ass in the gas chamber. Yeah, absolutely. They want us dead, 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 dead. They've already killed more people than Stalin. They've already killed more people than, than you know, than, uh, than Hitler. They've already killed more people. That Killing the United States is not a big deal. They want us dead. And the people that are locking us down, they want you dead. Does that make sense? They've already decided to kill you, folks. They've already decided to kill you, folks. You're, you're Eric Garcetti, uh, Gavin Newsom, Michelle Lujan Grisham, uh, that Whitmer and the others, they, you know, they've decided, they work for the Chinese, they have decided to kill you. That's the real story. And that's why they lock you down. To, you know, it's not that they're going to ever let you out. They're not. They've, they've decided to kill you. The only way you're going to get Gavin Newsom, you know, to, 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 to get California back on track is to take that guy out. And I don't mean to kill him. I mean, just get him arrested, do something, find a context to deal with him because he's obviously a traitor. So you've got that, but you have to find out a way to work that. He needs to be removed from office though, ASAP. Or, you, or California, you're going to have so many suicides, you're not going to know where to put all the bodies. So, you're, you know, the guy's, the guy's killing people through suicide. He's yeah. gaslighting the entire state. He is the gang stalker in California. He's got minions out there like she does, like this woman here. And they're, 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 they're spying on everybody on social media. You know, plan, you know, knowing where they live, planning to round them up. Take them to the camp. Oh, they just died. I don't know what happened. I guess COVID got loosened here. See what I mean? They want you dead. And there's just no other, no other answer. They want you dead. You know, I've... Um... Oh, in California, film production is wide open. You don't even have to wear a mask if you're uh, involved in that. Same in New Mexico. It's wide open. Well, this place, a little lady who's shivering in the snow, trying to get their medication. The spoiled film community is wide open. Anyone can do anything they want, right? Because that's the Chinese rule. That's their propaganda machine. You got one movie here that's already nothing. It's Netflix's Jay-Z's movie. It's already a zero, a nothing burger. You've got... Um, these kind of like Blumhouse movies coming out like freaky with Vince Vaughn to try to pacify the people that are still able to go to the theaters. You've got uh, AMC on the verge of bankruptcy, you know, and we're hoping they don't go bankrupt because we'd like to put our movie in their theaters. Um, you, you know, and you've got, uh, you've got uh, this precarious situation, but the focus, listen, in the end, if you see... The United States locked down, but not Europe and not Asia and nowhere else. Then you understand, right? Then you're going to understand. Cuomo is never going to let New York live. He already killed 6,000. He he's wants to go for millions. Chinese want New York. The Chinese want L.A. You know, Chinese one up there in Michigan and up in that area, up in the Michigan area. They're already teaching Mandarin, Gretchen Whitmer territory. Yeah, that's what they want. They want Seattle. They want Portland. And they're coming to get it. And the, the mayors and the, and the governors are turning you over to them. And they want you dead. That's the best way I can describe it. They got away with a COVID attack because... There are no patriots here anymore in, in D.C. They all work for the Chinese. They're all bought and paid for by the Chinese, just like China Joe and Kamala Harris and, you know, Mitt Romney and, you know, McCain was and Obama and the Bushes. And notice the Republicans and Democrats, they're all in the same club. They all sold you out to the Chinese. Now, the Chinese, now the next, next thing coming in is mass surveillance. And that is mass, you know, Stasi gang stalking, but it's mainstream now. The targeted individuals are more the pioneers. They're the ones who are getting it first 
but it's being rolled out to the entire world. Have you noticed it? Yes. Most of you that are targeted notice that the same treatment you've gotten is going out to everybody. But it's not the same treatment. It, it's a, Again, there's like a supernatural component, you know, an ultra na na natural component to it. But there is basically the roots of it get back to the basic good old, you know, Stasi police state tactics. Also create stalking of people in a very ter terrestrial manner. And of course, the new thing now is, I mean, not the new thing, but the, the style right now, I guess, is to po is using poisons. That's the popular thing today. Poison, in other words, gets you targeted and then gets you slowly poisoned, you know, while cooking you and then poisoning and then eventually, you know, because they want maximum suffering before death, you know, and even in the hopes you'll renounce the, the Almighty God. So if you do that, then they win, 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 win. That's the whole point is to, to really harvest you before you're gone. And then they use that for power. Well, it's like a, you know, almost like a cheap sci-fi novel, isn't it? Uh, but the ones that are really doing the controlling, they're, uh, they hate human beings. They want all of humanity dead. The real guys that the Klaus Schwabs have sold out to, they want all of humanity dead. They promised Klaus. Klaus, you're going to be a young man in eternity. Klaus is like being, is, is, is like Faust. You know what I mean? And it's almost like the Faust play again, the Faust story. You know, he's he's making a deal to turn over humanity, to destroy them all using COVID, to hurt everybody, to hurt and kill everybody. All the suicides are Klaus suicides now. He gets credit for all suicides. He's the guy that locked us down, all of us. And he wants everybody dead because he wants a post-human world and he wants the singularity, which we already had before, and he wants again. <laughs> anyway, the targeted individuals will continue to be a thing. They are the only ones that actually know what's going on and can explain it to other people that are just starting to experience it for the first time when they're being tracked and their credit cards are taken and their bank accounts are drained and their people have turned them in and they've they're getting, you know, set up for court dates when they didn't do anything wrong. That's all, that's, that's all, that's been happening to everybody. Being deplatformed off YouTube, that's all part of it too. Yep, they were coming around stalking me when I was trying to come up with a, I used my name, Expand Aware, to kind of try to slow it down. It did. And then I went to Z Media and boom, I got just pummeled. So I went back to expand aware, but I'm going back to, I guess, back to the Zeph report is what is what the, the, the name it'll be. Yeah, that's how I started. And, um, you know, I guess I have a lot of gratitude toward Jesus Christ, because, you know, if I didn't have Jesus, I just wouldn't have made it this far. You know, Jesus has made, you know, not that it made my daughter think okay, but he got me through it. I experienced it, and then you know he. he I'm not through it, I guess, but I've, he has me walk. Uh, yeah, walking on two feet. You know, uh, where I should have been. You know, just just devastated forever. This is the kind of thing you don't get over when you bury your child. <laughs> when you think of cursing somebody. And I don't like to think of that, but you think of their child dies before they die. That's a, that's a pretty big curse, right? If that's what the enemy was going to hit me with, I think what it was was, now your your boy Zeph isn't going to make it. Look at it. We're going to just take your daughter out and you now I'll see what happens. He's going to put a middle finger in your face. Uh, you watch. I I didn't. I doubled down on prayer and I went up and I got the, the episode of uh, uh, Human 2020 going because that's where we pray together. And uh, I, I, I cherish times to pray with people. I cherish people to pray. With. I cherish the Lord. I cherish the word. I have plenty of scriptures that are giving me boost during this whole period of time uh, since my daughter's death. And, um, you know, I've done really nothing wrong. And, and I've done nothing wrong in, in you know, having an open door for, uh, 
politically, you know, left, right, uh, black, white, any kind of, you know, a fellowship with anybody. You know, I mean, I think we need to be, uh, you know, kind and gentle to each other. And I know it's been kind of hard when you can't trust anyone because you're getting gas lit all the time. I just, it happened over at the Sprouts when I was in there. They started in on me, right? They, somehow over there in that region around that DeVargas thing over there, that seems to be like every time I go there, I got to, something happens. Yeah. Remember it happened in that restaurant. Yeah. And you remember what they did, right? Yes. What did they do? Oh, kind Tell of the people what they did. Uh, well, that was just too, too interesting when... Uh, Trish has never experienced that before. Yeah, I have. But you know what? Uh, you were thinking about reading something from Tina Plackinger's Treading on Serpents. Well, she's probably reading today. No, she's in the chat room. Oh, she is? So okay, the well, 4th. why don't you get me the December 4th? There it is. Okay, I need a flashlight. Honey. Please. There's one right here. Cool. You just hand that to me. All right, well, we welcome Tina in the chat room. I, Tina, I hope she I haven't... She says it's a great talk. She feels like she's eating a filet mignon with uh, sautéed onions. Oh, good. How about some mushrooms with that? <laughs> Okay. Let's, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I've, I was, I was, we know another targeted uh, individual over there in uh, downtown Santa Fe. And, you know, and, and I just want her to know that uh, I did get, you know, harassed in the, uh, in that market there. See, a lot of times I just bury it. I kind of go into denial. It's like, I don't want to dwell on it. I don't want to waste time. All right, so December 4th. Let me just see this a little bit. I've got my eyes are really having a hard time adjusting to it. Okay. Here's what uh, Tina wrote. Tina Plackinger uh, is the author of Treading on Serpents, and she's a very nice, you know, sister in Christ. And what she says is, no one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier, 2 Timothy 2.4. Um, let, me, let, me, let me read that again, because I think it's, it bears re repeating. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life. That's one of the most important stand. I can't believe that's in the Bible. I mean, you know, there's the, you know, I'm seeing it like almost for the first time. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him, capital H, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, who enlisted him as a soldier in the first place. So we've been enlisted as soldiers in the spiritual war. So we're going to be, you know, so for targeted individuals, this is our spiritual warfare. This is where we, that we live and die with this. And we entangle ourselves in the world. All right. Oh, what an ugly thought that is. Um, you wouldn't do it because you need the power. You need the, the, uh, the strength, the connection to the Almighty to wage war, to be able to do your job. We have been prepared our whole life for what we are up against right now, says Tina. We are persecuted and oppressed in a similar way to the people in the Bible. Uh, that's absolutely true. Well, that's why I call targeted individuals. It's all, I, I like to call them God's pioneers. Okay. In David's Psalms, he tells us how his enemies are camped around him uh, to constantly watch him. Right? So they're always watching. That's right. Another targeted individual right there, David. They wanted him dead. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't, can't believe these words are so good. I, I may read it again. You know, I've, I've, my elbow is hurting right now. Let me see. He was up against loneliness and confusion as he wondered just how they would trick him into their net. He was tired of being hunted, very much the way we feel. In the life of Job... As soon as one messenger came and went, another one showed up with even worse news. Each problem that Job faced was more complex and devastating than the one before. All the while, God was silently preparing 
him for an increase. It was God who was saying, Job is doing well, but he is nowhere near what I have in store, store for him. I am going to increase his blessings and bless his life. When I finish, he will be twice as blessed. At some point, we will have a breakthrough too. The greater our suffering, the greater our blessing. We are warriors for the Lord. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek that you will shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7, 7. So that's December 4th from Tina Plackinger. Or I could say Placking, Plackinger. The proper, uh, like a German way of saying that would be Plucking, Plackinger, Plackinger, but it's Plackinger. Anyway, it, her book is called Treading on Serpents. And every day there's another another beautiful, you know, word like this. And I, I have a hard copy, so <laughs> I got you all beat. The hard copy is awesome, by the way. And it has the artwork. I highly recommend the book. We gave some away. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or any, any place. But it's, um, it's always, we're always reading it. It's, it's right there. It's, you know, right here on the table. It's always good to pick it up and see what, uh, what the day has in store. I love things like that. Anyway, so can we just agree on this? And I don't want to get in fights with people. I know that I'm kind of brusque, and I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just that I've been kind of beat up by this whole subject, and you know, of of targeted individuals, gang stalking, gaslighting, um, surveillance, and you know, and also uh, remote uh, uh, viewing, remote uh, killing. Uh, you, you know, remote, you know, poisoning, those kinds of things, you know, are also part of gaslighting and gang stalking. You know, poisoning just enough to keep getting sicker and sicker until you about die, and that's happened to people I've known to where they're dead now, where they were just being slowly poisoned. That happened to my brother. Same thing. I'm sorry. I just never talked about it enough. I mean, I should have talked about Rick, and. Uh, I just couldn't. But yeah, what happened to him was it's it's you know the same thing, the same thing, and uh, same thing with my daughter, and same thing. You know, we have we have <laughs> a lot of us are at the grave. You know, a lot of us are dead. So, when we're arguing over all this stuff, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I can tell you this, that Tina's got going at it the right way, in the sense that she's going at it from, you know, gang stalking, connecting it to spiritual warfare, connecting to the Most High God, and then realizing you're beloved of the Most High God. It doesn't mean our people don't die. But when they do die, you know, they're in a, you know, a better place. Francesca's in a better place. She loved the Lord. So that's where she's at. But these things happen, you know, and I don't know whether she was targeted or not. It seemed like she was uh, because she got to the point where she was a shut in, you know, so same thing. What is it about our line that, will, that God wants to wipe it out? I don't know. Maybe he's just bringing us back to him, you know. Like Elijah, you know, like John the Baptist, like that kind of spirit. Maybe that's what it is because they didn't have, uh, they didn't have children. I said they didn't have children. God brought them back without seeding the earth with their children. So they're not exactly throwaways, right? I think Elijah was probably pretty high up in the, uh, in God's eyes. Pretty good guy. And Elijah people tend to not have children. It's just the way it is. He's bringing his prophets back, usually without children. Why would that be if, if, if having your seed propagating is considered a big blessing? 
Well, not every time. And we've never done a talk about the seeds of the prophets and that that seed, you know, did not necessarily go forth. Maybe sometimes it did. We didn't hear about, we don't know the exact history of some of them. But with Elijah, I don't believe there was a child. If you know different, let me know. I don't believe there was a child with John the Baptist. If you know different, let me know. I don't really believe there was a child with Jesus. A lot of people say it was Magdalene, and they did have a child and offspring, and they, 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 they became the kings of France, the Merovingians. I don't know. I can't prove it. You know, it's not important to me. Okay, okay, we'll put it another way. It's not on my radar. Thank you, Lord. Because that would become a very worldly pursuit, would it not? Now, my thing is, when I show up, when I write something, I'm fierce. You know, I write, I write very, you know, insane stuff. It's going to be fierce. It's going to cause a stir, but more importantly, what it's going to do is point at truth from time to time. Not every time, but I mean, from time to time, and that's going to be like a sword. That's going to be jarring people, you know, and then, of course, whether or not they're going to let you see our movie or not, that's a good question. Uh, there is a movie that uh, it come out today. It played at the Deauville Film Festival, but it had stars in it, so it was a no-brainer. I think Saban picked it up, and it's uh, called Wander. It's about supposedly about a targeted individual played by Aaron Eckhart, and uh, there's a crazy guy in the desert with a radio show. <laughs> Is that based on me? I don't know. And that's uh, played by Tommy Lee Jones and directed by a famous TV director. Um, and I, I, you know, I'm not really into her TV shows, but I mean, obviously, she took on a subject where they were just, the critics were waiting for her. Then the critics and the, the, the Hollywood Reporter just tore the movie to shreds and it was shameful and i maybe you know maybe we need to start in you know in england with ours because we have a invitation to a really great film festival there and also an invitation to uh to to you know go ahead and distribute you know there first and that had to happen with society and we might have to do it this time because you know, just the, the, the too strong. It's too. What did I do? Am I do I write too intensely? Too strong. It's very strong. So that you know, at the same time, we're negotiating with people too. We're trying to find, We're trying to work it out. Film's going to be done in the next. Uh, I will have the DCP next week, or Larry will, and uh, and I think we're going to screen it for uh, certain people. You know, cast and other people that have been a part of it and uh while we're finishing up uh you know some kind of domestic deal of we're trying to get a combination of screens and vod that's what everyone's doing these days and our film deserves that too uh meanwhile we got invited to hundreds of festivals we don't want to go to hundreds because they're you know sometimes they're just about you know they're not but there's some good ones in there and uh we're going to make sure we get to those we can't do that until we have a domestic lined up and then the distributor says it's okay to go participate so we got some blockage you know little things that have to be kind of worked out i'm just hoping the lord will just make a way i i can't make a way i there's no i could call up people in hollywood they, they, they'll never, never get back to me you know it's, it's the film they have to want the water or not it's a very great film though it's very very well done so i i think you know obviously the people need to see it i want you guys to see it because well, you're going to, you know, we're getting that whole simulation thing. But then the next one after this, or the next two, I guess the next one, the coming, if we do the voice, we get that thing launched, you're going to see, um, you're going to see some things, you're going to love it. Because it goes around the, see, this movie, Wander, I'm going to see it today. It's on VOD, too. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it and look, because it's up in my wheelhouse. So I got We got to look at it, right? First of all, I'm amazed they got through and they made it. But then again, they had Tommy Lee Jones and Aaron Eckhart. So they had, you know, some star power there. And then the girl was uh, the girl from Vikings, which is a big hit show on, uh, you know, on, on cable or whatever. So it's a big, 
you know, it's a, it's a great show. I like that show, Vikings. So you got some real star power there, you know, and it's about, and that, that it's really, uh, you know, about they keep, you know, is this guy crazy? He claims to be targeted or is he nuts? So they're playing with that. But the, the insulting critic, and see, they'll do this to us. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll tear me up in shreds if they can. Me and Larry and anybody else involved in it. So, you know, where they may not do it in England, you see. They might, you see what I'm saying? But they just, um, I don't know why that is with the Brits, why they, they like our stuff so much, but they do. They, 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 no, here they, they, they're calling it like, you know, the movie that was written by Alex Jones, you know, in a, in a pejorative way, like Alex Jones is this evil, awful, horrible, you know, just conspiracy theory, just, you know, nut job, uh, just everyone hates him. And it's not true. Alex has been accurate. I, I'm, a, I'm very accurate. You know, I'm not perfect, but I'm very accurate. Well, I recognize other people that are accurate. He's been accurate on his predictions. Uh, four years. So Hollywood hates him. They hate his fucking guts. They just hate him. And uh, yet this movie got made called Wander. So I can recommend that to you. Let's all take a look at it. I mean, you don't, you know, maybe wait till it drops in price. You can get it free on like HBO or, you know what I mean? Right now they're going to charge you 20 bucks for, uh, you know, nineteen ninety nine to 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 watch it early because it's or you can see it in the theater if you have theaters open in your state. Uh, it's in the theaters too, you know, because it's got some star power. It's released by Saban. Saban, uh, you know, has you know does lots of films, and lots of money, and you know, very very kind of a well to do uh, uh, distributor. Um, anyway, they got excoriated in the uh, Hollywood Reporter. And, um, you know, this happened to me, too, when someone read The Voice. I got 30 pages of notes from this guy. It was just like, you know, you know tell, telling me that, you know, that, that I was crazy, that this guy is, is the one, that this is the evil guy. And he was not evil at all, you know, but he was going to kill perps. He didn't think anything of that, and I didn't either. But, I mean, to the average person out there that doesn't know anything about this, it looks like he's killing innocent people, but he's not. They're perpetrators. They're, they're playing a game with them. You know what I mean? They're, you know, they're, they're messing with them. And it's serious in this movie called The Voice, and his name is Derek, and he's a super soldier that they're deprogramming. And they're taking the implants out of it, and it's a love story between he and Maria. Maria is a doctor, Dr. Maria Fuentes. Uh, what a character. She is the head of, the, uh, uh, of activism for, you know, enlightening people about targeted individuals. And she gives talks. And she goes up against the psychiatrist. Uh, am I telling you? I just want to tell you about Maria. What a great character. You know, Hispanic actress. Uh, perfect for insane speeches. She goes up against a psychiatrist. Well, she and Derek were lovers from a long time ago when they're in the military, but they wiped his brain. Anyway, they find each other again and there's underground resistance. But at the same time that Derek's trying to be human again and Maria's trying to uh, assuage her guilt, for, she was a, a surgeon, a board-certified surgeon that... Uh, you know, she would implant uh, soldiers to make them into super soldiers for this, this, this maniac guy from outer space named Cerno, who is like Satan. And um, you know, it's about how you know Derek makes his way back to being human again. He gets, but he, but it, that when the, when they're coming after him, when they're trying to ruin his life and get him to kill himself, what do they do? They target him with DEWs. And gaslighting. He goes to the pizza place. They start in gaslighting him there. He goes to through a drive through They already know who he is. He turns on the radio. The radio talks to him. And it's just freaky. It's the real deal, right? It's, it's right there on the screen. You see that movie? It's the real thing right there. Man, if I were anybody, anybody at all out there with any money, it would probably make it for a million five, I guess, two million. If there's anybody out there, producer-wise, that would like to 
partner up with us on this. We got everybody, the crew, everything intact. We're going to make it in Greece. Greece. You get to go to Greece. And uh, it's the, our, our crew is there, production's there, budget breakdown, everything done. But we need an influx of funds to match the Greek funds. The Greek's giving us 40% on the budget. So a shameless plug. And if you're in that category that you want to see the greatest movie about targeted individual, an apocalyptic movie involving human locusts and targeted individuals and victory, if you want to see something like that, I guarantee you, you're going to make money on it. <laughs> I can't get, well, I don't know how much, but you'll make something. <laughs> Probably before you even, even production's over, because we'll pre-sell it. But we need uh, influx. Otherwise, we're doing another film. Besides that, we're doing a, a graphic novel about uh, Girl Next. I'm really excited about that. I don't know if the guy that uh, we're talking to is going to do it. We haven't heard. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, you know, but if it's not him, it'll be somebody else. And, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. You'll be able to go to the, to the website called crazed house. We only come out with crazed, crazed productions. I mean, crazed. And you can flip the pages of the graphic novel and see the adventures of Lorianne and who she really is. I'm very curious as to who she really is. Now that we've done this movie. See, when we did this movie, she was just a gal in a parking lot getting her groceries that gets abducted. But now we've learned a lot more. And there's a whole bunch of things out there that Lorian will be involved in. And so we're, we're just, you know, taking it step by step right now. But I think if you become a fan, you know, and you know how you become a fan of a story or a soap opera or something, you want to find out the next thing. There's going to be that in the form of of of, of, of this uh, comic book, and you'll be able to find out things that are going to be you know, and then eventually we'll film some of those things in movies, and you know, it'll be a combo you know of things to to look at and read and then screen and you know, just a kind of multimedia type of thing, and uh, it all revolves around MK Ultra, targeted individuals. Um, you know, uh, my my book class backwards. We're gonna, I think, turn that into a graphic novel too, and that has to do with uh, CIA assassin in the midst of uh, L.A. Hollywood, and uh, the crazy things that go on. You know, that gets into the deep, deep layers of this stuff. The deep layers. A lot of people that did, you know, want to learn more about, um, you know, gang stalking, targeted individuals, mind control, all that stuff. They should read Glass Backwards. That would be a very good way for them to educate themselves on what it really is. Rather than just proclaiming themselves experts and asking everyone else to, uh, you know, bow down to their knowledge. No, Glass Backwards didn't seek to influence anybody. It's just a story. But in there, you can glean some things. Some, there's some interesting insights in there. It doesn't have all the answers, but it's got some, some areas to look at. I don't say I have all the answers either. I don't. I have my testimony, but I've, my testimony has been called invalid by people. They say, well, that's not valid. Even Trish got a dose. They're coming after me and Trish saw it. You know, and, and it, it was very valid. Being on closed circuit TV. So how many people in L.A. participated in that? The answer is everybody. Well, then where were you? Well, obviously something like L.A., but not L.A., because that's impossible. Well, what does that mean? Well, what do you think? Yes, exactly. What does that mean? Maybe we can't even answer that, but that's what gang stalking is. It's like that. It's not something you can just nail down. The people have all tried to do it have failed. You know, and that's just the way it is. I don't mean they haven't contributed something to the subject, of course, but there's a bigger picture and people don't want to look at that bigger picture because it gets very hard to understand. I know one thing though, we're not the only, you know, David, like Tina pointed out, David was part of it. He was, he was getting surrounded on all sides. Yep getting him to, to you know, and, and he made mistakes. And, um, you know, of course, he was envied because he was, you know, the, 
you know, pretty much the uh, the apple of God's eye, and you know, he's going to be made king, and you know, he had the the jealousy and Absalom and all that. So it, it's there's a lot of factors that go into it, and there's magical factors, you know, magical sorcery type factors that go into it as well. And people don't like to hear that, but I mean, it is. But see, on another level, in reality, sorcery is science because it works every time. It's measurable. And sorcery is quantum. Now there's two objects in space separated by billions of light years. When something happens to object A, it was related to object, you know, there are two, two objects disconnected, okay, but they were connected at one time. When you do something to object A, it affects object B immediately 100 billion light years away. So there's no, it's non-locational reality. There is no space travel. It's instantaneous. There is no delay between 100 billion light years, a trillion light years. It's still object A affects object B instantaneously, no matter how far they are apart from each other. Non-locational reality, you know, understand? And so when you start looking at that, you start understanding a little more. But, you know, we have to go into quantum physics in order to kind of understand uh, more about gang stalking the things that happen, uh, the Mandela effect, uh, the, the world we live in, uh, there are some answers there, you know. I, I just I just gave you one answer. And there are, there, you know, it's, it's an answer. I mean, it's a, it's a clue, I guess, not an answer. But there's other, you know, clues as well. And, um, you know, energy cannot be um, uh, destroyed. It can only be transformed is another clue. You know, energy, you know, people could be, the devil can twist things, but he can't kill something and he can't birth something. He can't create something. He can just twist what's already there. So these are interesting aspects of reality that we can use uh, to conduct spiritual warfare against gang stalking, which is you have to wage spiritual warfare against gang stalking to, to uh, you know, to, to uh, mitigate it. Because if it's just your mind and running after some guy downstairs staring up at your window and trying to get him on videotape and then maybe try to get a police thing on him. And, you know, most of these people uh, go free and then, they, then the, the, the police turn the attention on you. And we all know that because we've all been through this. For months after that incident that happened on Sunset Boulevard, I kept going back to those houses. I wonder how those people were all connected for miles, going down the road miles, and they're all there waving. Hi, sucker. Hi, idiot. You know, like that. The house where the people were all in the tuxedos at 2.30 in the morning, waving, and they were dancing, and they were you know, trying to communicate with me. The next day when I looked... The house itself that I was, and I looked at it with binoculars. I looked at the the windows. I looked at it for a long time, solid as can be. The next day, there was no house there. How do you figure that? And they were harassing me, spying on me. How do you, how do you, and, and then, you know, the woman next door over here, she was there, this, looking out her window, like, see what's happening to you? Mm-hmm. If you don't want that to happen to you, you know, and I suppose what they're saying is, take the devil's deal. Because all that stalking and all that interdimensionality came from Satan. Satan is the author of gang stalking. If you want redress for the gang stalking, if you want to fight it, you have to fight Satan. What's Satan telling you? He's telling you that all you got to do is bow down to me and all this stuff goes away the next day. In other words, it's your fault that you're being harassed. You can stop it, but you won't. So don't try to put guilt on us who are participating because we have to participate or we get in trouble. Your neighbor says, your brother says, your 
parent says, your child says, your friends say, all the same statement, we have to participate or we get in trouble. So you admit you've been doing something to me. Yes, but everyone does a little thing that nobody really knows why or what it is. It's just, you know, we just don't want any trouble. Yet you're trouble. We don't want you around here. Why don't you kill yourself and make it easy on the rest of us? Well, why don't you want me? Well, it's too late now. You had your chance. The only thing you can do to make us happy is kill yourself. Yes, they folks, they want you, Dad. Come on. You, you, by now, do you think there's still some love for you? You think they still might love you in the end? They hate you. And there is no way for you to hook up with the devil now. It's too many chances have gone by. They don't trust you anyway. If they, if you ever did that, they would basically just put a knife in your back. You got no option, and. You know, they show their ugliness to you. You're going to have to move away from them. But don't ever, ever, never, ever, 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 ever think there'll be reconciliation. There never will be unto death, okay? There never will be. They're never going to accept you. They're always going to be at war with you because they, they feel that you ruined their time on earth. The thing they don't understand is you were the beacon of hope. You were the pointing to the truth. You were the one that was on the right side of things that could have helped them. But see, they're too stupid. They want to stay their death cult. They want to. They want to. They want to stay the course. And they're all look, folks. They're all going to die. All those people. They're going to perish as if they never were in the first place. Forget them. Move on. Don't don't fight with them. Don't try to convince them. You never will. If any one of them does repent, you'll be the first to know. So far, I haven't seen it. They're already, they're already spoken for. They're already, they're already past the point of no return. You know that? There's a line. Once you hurt a child, and most of these people are pedophiles. I have hurt children. Once you hurt a child, uh, if you look at Matthew 18, 6, it almost looks like the Lord's drawing a line. Once you start hurting the children, that's you're over the line. That's it. They, the Lord doesn't want you. I, it looks like you can't really repent for that. It looks like that may be the unpardonable sin. I, I don't know with completely exactly, but it sounds like Matthew eighteen six. It goes, it'd be better if a millstone were tagged around your neck or tied around your neck and you were drowned at the bottom of the sea. It sounds pretty final to me. And that's if you hurt a child. That was my first song called Vigilante. It was about a guy that goes around killing pedophiles. I said I played a song in the beginning was a guy who goes around killing pedophiles. It seems that that God doesn't really care if you kill pedophiles. It also seems to me that one of the big initiation rites in, you know, at least in this country, is uh, getting caught with underage, you know, you know uh, children, and uh, you know, becoming some sort of pedophile or even murderer. It seems that you know, we've been living in some kind of delusion that there's some nice people around. There are no nice people around. This whole system is run by thugs, Satanists, murderers, liars, criminals. And it only gets worse every year. And maybe God is just deciding now to take the garbage out. The people killing themselves are the people losing businesses. Maybe these people uh, were guilty of something. I don't know. But the reason I can tell that there's a big pedophile problem here is because uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the left in America, the American left, is spending a lot of time and money promoting it, trying to get it legal so that, I guess, so people don't go to jail. You know what happens to pedophiles in jail? They get gutted like a pig. They have to be separated from the general population because the, a lot of the, the, the guys in jail, there's a kind of thing called street justice. You, some of you know what I mean. You know, can't you know? It's, there's, there's, you know, the, a lot of those guys in jail have been abused when they were children, and they're not very happy seeing one of these people come in there and. Uh, 
you know, that's been the been the thing that you can't put a pedophile in general population anywhere in this country. They'll be gutted like a pig. Yeah, they don't take too kindly to abusing children because, again, a lot of them were children, too, and they were abused and maybe led to a life of crime. You know what I mean? It's led to some bad things, and now they're in jail. But jail, there's a justice system, too, among the inmates. And uh, there's certain people like snitches, okay? You know, betrayers, those kind of guys, they don't last long either, right? People that turn testimony to the cops, they don't last, last long either. Pedophiles, they don't, you know, child abusers, they don't last, they don't last five minutes in there. You have to find separate quarters for them. Or just sacrifice them. Just throw them in the, 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 the prison yard in the middle of the, the lunch break or whatever. And uh, they will they'll probably won't last. Uh, you know, I'd say they'll be lucky if they last 15 minutes. Without, without being dropped. You know, there's like a sacred oath here. We don't hurt children. You know, we don't hurt old ladies trying to cross the street. We help them cross the street, right? We don't just behave cruelly to people that are weaker than ourselves. These are just basic moral tenets that people go by. And if you're a monster, I guess you would, you know, like I, I saw the uh, Antifa people or somebody, you know, at a Trump rally, you know, harassing old people that, that could barely... Wow that needed a cane to walk and needed a wheelchair, uh, harassing a woman in a wheelchair. This is just wrong. T terribly terrible. Antifa makes a habit out of going after old ladies or, or you know, old people in wheelchairs who are, who are you know, basically struggling just to be able to walk. This is, a, this is a horrible, horrible thing they do, and I hope uh, they get eliminated. You know, I mean, people that, that, that hurt you know, animals, and, you know, there's, I mean, Black Lives Matter, same thing, the kind of people they hire in there, they, girl says all lives matter, she gets her head blown off, she's pregnant, and they just blow her head off because she said all lives matter, and killed her baby, you know, it's, it's a, just a, uh, people just don't, act, if those guys went to jail, those Black Lives Matter went to jail for that, you know, there would be an answer for that. You know, pick on somebody your own size here. Pick on another guy. You know, pick on somebody, you know, that's that you know, square off against you. You know, pick on, you know, women, children, old people, animals. And they do. They do. They kill dogs and cats. They put their heads on. You know, this, this is, yeah, this is, uh, these are people that are Soros trained. I don't have any time for them. You know, you, you help the little old lady across the street. She's, she's struggling just to be here. You help the little guy across the street if they need help. You don't, you don't push him down and say, you know, accuse him of something. I remember they, they, there was one guy who was getting off a bus and they kicked him and he went, you know, face down onto the pavement and he died. You know, immediately he died. And uh, he never saw it coming. There have been people that they've tried the knockout game with where they take a brick and they knock the guy out. He never recovers. He's in a coma for the rest of his life and they finally have to pull the life support. You know, these are the kinds of things you just don't do unless there's something very, very wrong with, you know, perverted about you that, that needs to be, you know, like, like a mad dog, like a, uh, like a, like a, a rabid dog, like, a, like an animal that's out of whack. Something is very wrong. And, you know, employing people like that to get their way, to have a you know, globalist, left, leftist, uh, communist regime, just shows how, uh, what kind of people they are, you know, that, uh, that you know, I think, I think how much has Xi killed, They've, China has killed, uh, what, 500 million people, about 500 million, and they want to kill 380 more million, they want to kill everyone here in the United States because they want to take, they, no, they don't care about people here, they just... The people here are in their way. They want to move in to the United States. That's what I've. That's what I have heard for years. They're planning on eliminating population here so the Chinese can move in, and that's the whole point.
No, it's not about you adapting communism. They don't want you. They don't want the elites either. The homeowners, the ranchers, the, the well-to-do people here, they want them eliminated. Them, the workers, and the slaves, all eliminated. The slaves are the people that are owned by China. All the slaves of China who are here, you know, the politicians that sold out their own people, those kind of people, they're all, they're all slated for death as well. They're not going to be welcome here when China moves in here. The Chinese lockdown, buddy. And, uh, you know, thank you for putting up with me today on this, uh, you know, trying to get this thing through. I'm trying to find out a way to podcast. If I don't have YouTube, I looked at Rumble and they don't convert your, you know, podcast into a video podcast. We are mainly audio, but maybe I will turn to a, uh, you know, to a, uh, A video format, you know, maybe we'll do that. Um, it's up in the air now. It's all, you know, it's lots of things are possible. I've been here almost every day though lately. You know, kind of scrambling after YouTube. It's almost like YouTube kind of gave me a kind of a shot in the arm. You know, it's like, hey, you got uh, censored. You know, hmm. We're running into that in our society, aren't we? People being silenced. We warned about it for years and years that this would happen if people didn't wake up and take action. Let their voice be heard. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to uh, to leave. This is Zeph Daniel of uh, the Zeph Report. So we, that's what we started with. We'll probably get that name back. And we're on Spreaker, Spreaker.com forward slash Zeph Daniel. Or Podbean. Podbean is Zef Daniel, one word, dot podbean dot com, and it will go right there. And they have the latest latest episodes are there. Um, you know, don't don't bother leaving comments on Podbean. I don't know how to get to them. They make it so you have to have like a an extra device that's on the device. The I can't I can't deal with it. You want to make comments about anything? It's the best place is the Zef Report. Um, uh, Facebook page, the Zeph Report Facebook page. Plenty of room for comments there. If you'd like to make comments right now, uh, but it's it's not like as good as it was at YouTube. That was a kind of a special situation. You can make them in the in the chat room here in Speaker. This is live. If you prefer to make comments here in the chat room, you're very welcome to here. But yeah, so I'm just kind of scrambling. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we're going to try to figure this thing out in the next. Uh, you know, the next month or so, try to figure out what we're, what we're doing and what we're all about and what we're trying to do. I think right now the, the idea is I'm not forgetting the, the whole targeted individual problem. And I grappled with it today. I did okay today. You know what I mean? I, I didn't just get frustrated and give up like I usually do. It's because I've been, you know, people, they, my knee is bleeding. Gosh, people send me, uh, all these people that are so they're so adamant that they you know it, it's like you know you want to learn something you can listen to me I'll teach you and I'm I'd like to give my testimony no your testimony doesn't exist Zeph because it doesn't fit in the confines of what I just laid out is truth that's your problem that's your big big problem with this subject a lot of people have gotten real ugly on it you know people that are, that you know. I, I don't know why I've been silent, but I'm not silent now. And, and I'm because I'm not saying there's any any defined line or answers. I'm saying here my testimony might be a clue for some people to to, to deal with it. Because with me, it's it's <laughs> nothing is logical, man. <laughs> you know, they were there, then they're not there, then they're there again. I mean, who's where's the mechanism? And you know, people, oh, it's a, it's some kind of weapon. And well, yeah, well, what is it? I don't know. It must be mind control, maybe an implant. Uh, no, it's not any of those things. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe there isn't an answer that's a pat answer right now. 
But what we do know is it is going on and people are very troubled. I know I've got a friend right now. He's very troubled and we're praying for him and we're trying to, you know, even when he's in a safe place, they still are coming after him. And he's, it's very hard for him to, you know, have a, you know, a break. When it's happening to you, it, it, all the logic in the world isn't going to help you. You know, you're under, you know, some kind of siege and you need, you know, shelter, protection. That's hard to come by. I'm going to play a really funny song that Keltron sent to me and I put uh, put it together as Illuminati whore and produced it. And, uh, you know, it was quite a few years ago back when Prince was alive. Some of the same players are still around, though, today. And I'm, I'm mocking the Satanism of the uh, L.A. music industry. What a joke, right? Okay. Anyway, God bless you, each and every one. I will be back. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back the next day. I'll be back in uh, little tiny... Uh, uh, snippets. I'll be back for five minutes. I'll be back for an hour and a half. I'll be back here or there. Uh, we might try some video, like I say, on Rumble. Maybe. I don't know. I, I You know, there's. it's um, it's kind of a new period now of just trying to kind of find our way where, where we fit. At the same time, I have my duties as a, you know, as a writer and I got to free up, you know, time to figure out what we're doing next and how we're going to, you know, but, but it, it can all work out. All the time can be budgeted and it can all work out. You know, the main thing is uh, the kind of content we produce is um, it's, you, you're going to love it because it's going to deal with, you know, your universe for a change. But there are minders out there, folks, nasty critics and, and, and there's gatekeepers. And so it's a careful kind of thing we're dealing with. Because I know if you go silent, no matter how good your work is, like Steven Schellenberger, that great film he made, The Spark. You know, no matter if you, if, you know, you got to keep pushing along because if you if you don't say anything, they'll just let you know. You could make Lawrence of Arabia of TIs. You know, let's say something that's an eighty million dollar picture. It'll just sit there if you don't move it. Books too. Got to move the books. Yeah, see, they're keen to produce things that lie to the people. That, that make sure that people are deflected off the truth. And those are your novels. Those are your, you know, your various things. I just read, I read American Assassin. I read a bunch of novels over the last, uh, over the last while. And um, nothing went to the truth, nothing. Um, the depiction of the CIA as all good guys is, uh... <laughs> that's horrifying to me because it's got nothing to do with reality. Oh God. There you go. God bless you. Love you. And we'll see you next time. There's great advantage in being a slave. I see. Promote the triangle. Promote that pyramid. You take advantage of the ignorant and
Unless he was a curio. 